Even after Second Harvest has given away more meals this year than they ever had before, they still find a way to hold Super Turkey Day, which you can see right behind me. That way you can have a Thanksgiving dinner for your family. Turkey for a turkey. Make sure you tune in tonight to News Press Now to hear more about this giving season. Some important St. Joseph history was stolen from the Jesse James home this past Friday. Make sure you tune in to News Press Now tonight to hear what was stolen, how they did it, and how you can help police catch these burglars. Join us. A St. Joseph resident has joined the Centenarian Club, which is 100 years old. Hear his secrets to life, which might be a little bit sweet for you tonight on News Press Now. After four days of counting votes, the results are in, and Joe Biden will be the 46th president of the United States. Tonight on News Press Now, we have local reactions to this news, plus, of course, other news in your area. And, of course, Brooklyn Ray will be giving us the local weather we should expect this week. Tune in tonight. Remember the fire that burned down the Pioneer Building? Well, this $8 to $9 million project could help revitalize downtown St. Joseph with this four-story, mixed-income, family housing project. We'll tell you more about the development, plus a partnership with CAP tonight on News Press Now. There's a new group in town that wants to help those with limb differences. Tune in to News Press Now tonight to hear about the new group, No Limitations. <laughs> oh, that is such a precious smile. <laughs> Lost and then found, the old Kessler Cemetery is now having around 40 of its headstones restored. It's located in Easton, Missouri. Tune in to News Press Now tonight to get a first-hand look at that restoration.